order of disaster. In any city, in any country, go to any church or place of worship you can get yourself to. As you enter, make absolutely certain you are alone. It is vitally important. Look for a reverend, imam, etc. at the front of the building. As you make your way towards them, stretch your arms out to either side of yourself. Close your eyes and tilt your head downwards. After taking thirteen steps, open your eyes and place your arms back beside yourself. If the person you were making for is still stood there, their arms clasped and looking you directly in the eye with a deathly stare, tell them you wish to see the holder of disaster. They will place an arm around you, chuckling lightly. If a church, you will be led to the belfry. If a mosque, you will go to the call to prayer tower. If, for example, you are in a church, you will be led up the spiral staircase. But as you go, you will pass no bell. You will go on for what seems like miles until you come to a balcony upon which is a door. Your accomplice will open the door before beating a hasty retreat. As you peer through, should you see only darkness, turn and run as fast as you can, for should you see what comes out of the darkness, if you look for more than a second, will cause the universe to destroy itself in a paradoxical explosion, merely due to the fact that a human being has seen the horrors contained within. However, should you see what appears to be a corridor within a castle, step forwards. Suits of armor stand motionlessly around you, holding huge lanterns, casting a haunting glow throughout the corridor. They may seem to move, but do not look back. Instead, keep going. You will eventually come to a throne, upon which will be an extremely thin, bearded man with empty eye sockets. In the place of his eye sockets will be pools of blood, which look as if they should be pouring from the holes they are held within. He will gently begin to tap the arm of his throne. After the fifth tap, he will stop, and the flames that lit the corridor will cease to burn. At this point, get on your hands and knees, look straight to the floor, and shout at the top of your voice only these words. What happens when they die? After this, stand to your feet. Placed on the floor below you will be a goblet, in which will be some shimmering water. You will be overcome with thirst, but do not drink it, no matter how tempted you are. Instead, stare at the water. Before you, as if you were watching it on a television screen, will be played, as if recorded, every horrific tragedy in history. Everything from the death of the dinosaurs, to Mount Vesuvius, to the RMS Titanic's sinking, to present-day battles in the Middle East. Everything will be in excruciating detail, and you will see the fate of every person involved. Some people tear out their eyes in sheer agony. Some are scarred for life, and some go completely and utterly insane. Whatever your outcome, you must continue to watch the events take place before you, or else you will face the unimaginable pain that follows if you do not. After this is over, the water will completely vanish from view, leaving only the goblet. Suddenly, you will feel as if you have been dropped from a great height, and you will be sat in the place of worship once more, with only the goblet for company. 
This goblet is object 516 of 538. With this you will have unlimited knowledge of human emotion. Choose wisely how you use it, for it could be your downfall.